Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little stationary haul and then I'm going to do a K-pop journal spread for Sakjin's birthday. First, I wanna share probably the most exciting thing or one of the most exciting things in this entire haul and that is my Amanda Rachley bullet journals. <laughs> I am so excited for these. And when she released actual just dotted bullet journal notebooks, I was so excited and I was like pumped to get some for 2021. So I actually got two. I got this like tan color with the gold doodles on it. And then I got this black one with the silver doodles on it. I also got some of her washi tape. This is the basics washi tape set in the colors dark neutral. Um, I wanted some of the other like basic washi tape sets too, but this is actually the only one that was in stock. Anybody that does bullet journaling knows Amanda Rachel Lee. She was my first like bullet journal account that I started following when I started getting into bullet journaling. And then from bullet journaling, I started getting into K-pop journaling. And then she ended up getting into K-pop, which was really cool. So yeah, I love Amanda Rachel Lee. She is one of my all time favorite YouTubers. So I'm very excited to one, be able to support her shop and to just have some really cool stationery from her. Now, all of the other things that I got for this video came from Joann's. It's Joann Fabrics. It's a craft store. Um, and I just came across this aisle with all this like cool looking stationery stuff. And I had to buy it because it was 40% off. So I went a little bit crazy. Okay, so the first thing that I got are these little packs of like embellishments essentially um these ones are called keepsakes this one is thrift shop and this one is urban um it kind of shows on the back everything that's in there and they're just like oh i guess this one doesn't but these two show on the back what's in there and as you can see like there's lots of little tickets and stuff in here and if you've been watching my videos recently i've been printing off like vintage style tickets um, to use as embellishments in my journal. So I thought it would be really cool to just have this kind of stuff on hand already. The other thing I got, and these are all the same brand. It's this, what is it? Jim Holtz? Jim Holtz. Jim, oh no. <laughs> Tim Holtz. I guess I can't read cursive. Tim Holtz and Ideology. And then I got these which are a little like cards almost. And I just thought they would be cool um, to incorporate in my journal too. They are called journal cards, an assortment of journaling and art cards. These, okay. The, it's like, if it's what I think it is, it's kind of like washi tape, but it's like big and you can like stick it in your journal like as a background. And I saw Amanda Ray Lee use one of these in one of her recent videos. And I was like, what is that? And then I saw this at the store and I had to buy it. It's called collage paper. So I guess I don't really know if it's sticky or not, but it's in a roll, like washi tape. So I would think, so this one is um, typeset composer is what this one's called. And this one is document. And this one is botanical. So yeah, I'm very interested in these. And yeah, all of this stuff from Joann's was 40% off. So <laughs> I realize I'm supposed to be buying presents for other people, but I just couldn't pass them up. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to open up and take a look at is my Amanda Rachel Lee Dot and Notebook. I decided I'm just gonna open one for now. This is the one that I've decided I'm gonna use for my 2021 bullet journal, at least for the first part of the year. Um, so I'm gonna open this up. Really cute, clean packaging. Um, it says it has 160 pages, and I believe it's an A5 dotted notebook, so yes. Um, it's got 
your typical um, elastic on the side and a little elastic here that you could put like a pen or a pencil in and then has all of her little doodles on the front and on the back. It feels really nice. Oh, cute. I mean, I guess I did watch her videos about this, but I guess I didn't remember that this is on the inside. So that's really cute. It's got her little doodles on the inside. I can write my name here and it says shop Amanda Ridgely at the bottom. And then it's right into the journal. The, oh, the pages are numbered. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Um, it's got a stringling a ribbon, I guess. A re two ribbons, so you can mark pages. Um, yeah, all the pages are numbered. <laughs> and there's a pocket in the back that you can stick stuff in. The, the pages are nice and thick. Okay, so I have an Archer and Olive bullet journal. Okay, so my 2020 bullet journal is an Archer and Olive bullet journal. Um, I don't remember how many pages were in it originally. I mean, this looks bigger than hers, but that's because I've added a lot of embellishments in there. And the pages are not numbered, which <laughs> I'm kind of, I think I do remember her saying they were numbered. And I'm kind of on the fence about that because it's cool because then you don't have to number your pages and there's just these little teeny tiny numbers. But also I tend to mess up a lot in my journal and I will rip pages out or glue pages together um, or do like Dutch door situations. So I don't know how I feel about the numbering, but I'll just have to be careful, <laughs> I guess. Now I'm gonna open up my basic washi tapes. Okay, so, ooh, that one's sparkly. Okay, so this one is just like diagonal stripes. And they're like, kind of like a brown, like a really light brown color. It kind of matches my journal. So that's that one. Um, this one is like, what would you call this? Like checker lines, I guess. This is probably one of my favorite types of washi tape. And this is almost like a gray, like a cool, or not a cool gray, a warm gray. And this one has all her little doodles on it, which is super cute. And it's another kind of like brownish, warm gray color, which is cool. And then this one is sparkly, which I guess I didn't realize when I ordered it. That is a bonus. I had to kind of cut it open, but okay. So it's like sparkly and metallic and it feels a little like thicker and it's got like some texture to it because of the glitter on it. But that one is cool. I'm excited to figure out how to use this one. Um, I'm guessing it's taped down just because it probably doesn't stick to itself very well because of the glitter on top, but yeah. So those are my Amanda Ridgely washi tapes. Let's open one of these because I really need to know what's going on here. If it's sticky or not. Okay. Okay, so it's not sticky. But it's like almost like tissue paper. That is so interesting. This will be cool though because it... It won't be so thick on the pages like scrap of paper or even like printables. This is so interesting. I do kind of wish it was sticky, <laughs> but still, this is really cool. Fascinating. I guess since it doesn't stick to itself, I should probably keep it in these little tubes, maybe. Okay, so this is the botanical one. I almost feel like you could probably cut out little parts of this too. Like you could cut out these leaves or something. So yeah, it's like the consistency of tissue paper. This is 
so cool. I really feel like for somebody that's been bullet journaling for quite some time now, like literally years, um, I feel like I don't open up my, or broaden my horizon. Okay, this looks dangerous. Um, I feel like I don't broaden my horizons enough when it comes to stationery. I need to go stationary shopping more often where I just go to different places and specific, specifically buy stationary items. Okay, this one is the typeset composer one. Okay, interesting. I'm really excited to try this out. Sweet, there I am. Wish it was sticky, but it's fine. So these are the journal cards. Okay, so it looks like, let's open these up. Okay, so there is a design on one side and then like something you can write on on the back. And they're all different. That is cool. They're all different. That's so cool. These are gonna come in handy. And even the other side, like this could totally go in a journal too. So they both have, they have two sides to them. Those are so cool. I'm really excited to use these in my journal. Okay, this is a different size, but I assume that they're all essentially the same like setup, like two-sided. And they're not super thick, they're like a very light, like, I don't even know if I would say cardstock, but I guess it's like a very light cardstock. These are really cool. And then there's these bigger long ones. And they are two-sided also. This one almost has like bullet journal and stuff on the back. These are really neat. And then these little ones. These almost feel, well, maybe not. These are almost like photo card size. I'm excited about these. These are gonna be really cool. Again, these are Tim Holtz Ideology. That's the brand. So I got them at Joanne Fabrics, um, but it also says there's a website, www.timholtz.com, if anyone is interested in looking them up. Yeah, all right. Okay, now let's open these. These are similar in the way that they're also like embellishments, but they are more like, there's like shapes and stuff. It's not just a card. And there's some little tiny stuff in there. Okay. This is the keepsakes set. There's little tickets. Ah, yes. I'm so excited about that. I've literally been printing off little tickets to add into spreads. <laughs> So this is the thrift shop pack. Okay. Okay, so these are like very similar things. Okay, okay, okay. All right, this is the urban ones. This 
this one is almost is called something different. Like the other one said something else at the top, and this one says layers at the top. I need to go stationary shopping way more often because I just feel like this is going to like take it from zero to a hundred. That is my little haul of all my new stationary items that I'm really stoked about. And without further ado, let's get into making my spread for Jen's birthday. Hello, it's voiceover me now. Um, so you have actually seen me use some of these embellishments that I've bought before, if you think they look familiar. That's because I actually filmed this video quite a while ago, but I needed to get some other videos up first, like some that were a little bit time sensitive, like ones that needed to be out before Christmas or, you know, right at the very beginning of the year. So I had to kind of push this one back. I mean, obviously Jen's birthday was on the 4th, so it's been like a month now. Um, um, but I did actually do this spread, I think, before his birthday. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a little bit late getting up. Um, but I was, this is the first time using any of these. So I was really, really excited to use them. And I did go a little bit crazy with all of the things that I put on this spread. Um, but I definitely was the most excited to use this um, collage paper. And it is a little bit hard to work with because it's really thin like tissue paper. Um, you don't have a lot of control when you're ripping it so you have to be really careful and it can stick to your tape runner really easily and rip if you're not careful. So yeah, I did have to really take my time with it. And then I just was like, I'm gonna go crazy with these embellishments and I end up mostly covering up that paper anyway. So yeah. If you've watched any of my recent birthday spreads or seen them on Instagram, you know that I've started doing this thing where I write a letter to the member instead of just sort of writing about them. Um, and I write like something really personal that as if I'm writing a letter to them. So this time, usually I make like a little envelope and I stick it in and I put it in the envelope. But this time I used one of those cards and I just put tape around all the sides except for the top to sort of create like a little bit of a pocket. Um, and then after I wrote the letter and tried to stick it in the pocket, it kept popping up like the tape wasn't holding it down so I ended up using some washi tape on the sides to hold it down I am the only one that's going to be taking the letter out that's kind of why I do it that way because it's very personal and 
you know, I, it's really just for me to look back on later, essentially. So yeah, I just stuck it in that little tiny pocket. It's not double-sided tape. here is a look at the final spread like I said I went a little bit crazy um, but I like it for the most part I think if I could change anything I would change how I did the lettering and I would maybe change the card that I used for the pocket but other than that I like it I think it turned out okay so if you enjoyed this video and you like the spread please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye